Welcome to Yokomo, an ETS online course on a competence-based development for youth workers. Hello, my name is Patricia. I come from Portugal and today I will talk about ETS competence model for youth workers. Uh, what uh, is my relation with this model. I discovered that in 2016 when Salto published it, and I discovered by, by, my, by my own because I want to improve my competences and I want to understand the role of youth workers at the international level. Uh, and uh, I'm also a trainer for the pool of trainers of uh, Portuguese National Agency. And it's one tool that I can recommend for trainers because it's very important for the quality of the work. And last year, I'm a participant in the TOT, and the topic of my training is the ETS competence models for youth work. The training is real play. Okay, uh, how we put this in a practical, practical way? In our training, first, we have a, a room with uh, all competences empty with the dimension of the model, the knowledge, the attitudes, the values, and the behaviors. And we invite the participants to um, put what they think it was uh, important for the knowledge about uh, uh, cooperation in teams. And they uh, fill the competences with the things that they, they think are important. After that, uh, we show the model and they compare what is in the model or what they think. This is the first two steps. After that, and because people see the model like, oh, so many things, oh, so many competences, how we can achieve all of this? It's not for achieve in this way, but it's in the easy, easy way. And we we give an example, and I try to explain this example right now. We choose, uh, for example, a youth exchange, but if you wanted, you can put in your mind that it's a youth activity, a youth ethnicity, what you want. But in our case, we choose a youth exchange, and we choose uh, four parts of this uh, youth exchange. The team, the participants, the project, and activities. And in each uh, part, we put the competences that are connected directly with the teams, with uh, the participants, with the project, and with activities. For example, in the teams and participants, we connect this uh, displaying intercultural competences and communicate, communicating mindfully with others. And for the team, we connect collaborating successful in the teams in and networking, advocating, connect, connecting also with the project. And for the participants, we connect the competence facilitating individual groups learning in an enrichment environment and connect these with activities and connect the activities with design programs. In each competences, we put some examples. I can give you some examples. I don't give all the examples for all competences, but I give some. For example, if you want to improve the competences for facilitating individual or group learning, you need to be careful about, for example, you need to be in mind, one of the knowledge can be um, the knowledge of competences assessment principles related with methods. Or if you talk about attitudes, okay, I know the methods, but what kind of attitudes I need to have for put this in practice? And about attitudes, we choose being open and accepting that failure is part of the learning. Sometimes it's not easy for each one of us accept the failure, but it's one of the steps for the facilitation learning process. And in the skills, we, identif uh, we choose identifying dimensions and stage in group process. Okay, we identify that. And for the people that see the model, can see, for example, we see the activity, 
he think about the tasks, he think about these different participations in projects and design, and they see what they need. And they see what the, the models say, and maybe it's more easier for them uh, choose what they want to learn, what they are motivated to learn, because the model is not a checklist for the best youth workers. The, the model, it's a tool, um, very volatile uh, and very dynamic because uh, some knowledge or some attitudes or, or some skills are connected in uh, all the competences. And I think it's more easy with this because people can put in practical way what they want to do. Because sometimes the reflection, it's not easy. Uh, and we know that because if uh, people work under uh, Erasmus Plus program, uh, we are trainer for, for um, a reflection and for learning by our, ourselves. But sometimes we have a lot of youth workers that are not connected with this and it's very difficult for them. Okay, what I want to learn. And maybe if they have a frame of the model with the tasks that they they need to do in the future and with some activity, they discover the learnings, they discover what they want to improve and they discover what is important for all the activities for each worker are more, uh, have more quality. I think it's more or less like that. Uh, I just want to say for finish my presentation, uh, for youth workers use this model uh, because it's very important after, uh, before you work with youth people, you reflect about ourselves and you see uh, what kind of behaviors we can do, what kind of uh, behavior uh, attitudes we can have, uh, what knowledge we, we need, because uh, most of the time we don't stop for thinking. And I think we need to stop to think First of all, assess ourselves, for we can assess and facilitate the assessment of, of the others. That's it. Thank you. We hope this video contributed to you learning about the competence-based development for youth workers.